Hey Pisces, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for mid-April 2022. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. What's happening here? We have life with breath. Number 27. We also have groundedness with gravity. Okay, so it feels like for some of you, breathing exercises, this is gonna sound really weird, but <laughs> breathing exercises are something that can you can use to help ground yourself or just like if you're feeling stressed or anxious, um, especially because on this life, I'm noticing the heart. So it's like you may feel like a lot of stress through the chest. Um, so breathing exercises can be beneficial to kind of help like free up you know your energy release things that sort of thing so you, you can look up like meditations and stuff that have breathing um i also feel like there's this sense of it's like you're trying to find peace trying to find peace some of you also really feel like people are people or situations are pulling on your energy a lot um this girl has like two butterflies that with chains like around her that are pulling on her so you may be trying to like ground yourself and get back in your own energy if you feel really affected by other people or just like life around you this card literally says life so it just feels like you maybe need to take a deep breath <laughs> from life or take a break from life or people or a situation um come back into your own energy like i don't know do a social media cleanse that sort of thing two of cups nine of cups ten of wands yeah it's like people 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 high priestess six of swords seven of pentacles death card Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. We also have the Hermit and the King of Cups. It feels like, um, yeah, some of you need to, you, like, you either need to or you will be getting into like spiritual practices with the Hierophant and the Hermit and the King of Cups, like restoring your own energy, coming back to you and yourself. Like some of you really need to clear out certain connections or people or situations that you're connected to two of cups high priestess death card like really clear out things that are pulling too much on you that are are not giving you a sense of peace and if it's not like ending things it can just be like detaching or like distancing yourself With the Nine of Cups, we have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles here in the center, like this way. This feels like, um, I don't know why I've been reading these cards this way, but I'm reading them down. Um, this feels like, again, it's like detaching yourself from other people. Nine of Cups is a personal energy. Six of Swords is about detaching. It's an Aquarian card. Um, it's like detaching yourself so you can focus on your own stuff, your day-to-day, -day, your goals, what you need to get done, like there's like people disrupting your energy or situations disrupt disrupting your energy and i feel like you've been putting a lot of energy and time into these people or these situations um seven of ten of wands seven of pentacles six of cups putting a lot of time and energy but it's almost like you have to detach and separate yourself from these people start investing back into self um it's like these connections these people or these, these situations have become a bit of a burden and it's time for you to kind of like clear your energy of them. Like you may just find like your thoughts aren't your thoughts anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing where it's just like, it's not like there's anything wrong with these people. It's not like they're toxic or anything like that. It's just disrupting your energy. So you may be very sensitive. I mean, obviously you're a Pisces, so you're very intuitive, right? And so usually too that can mean that you're very empathic you're very sensitive to energy if you're very intuitive so you may be just finding that you're just picking up a lot on other people's stuff because people may come to you as like a guide or you're always the person that people come to for advice that sort of thing so like people kind of dump their their stuff on you
Um, let me see what this Two of Cups is here for Pisces. Why is this Two of Cups here? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy. Some of you are really also maybe putting time and energy into a connection. It just wasn't... It wasn't working. And so you've been kind of healing from that or, again, needing to take, like, a step back to kind of heal from that, put that down. Why the High Priestess? For Pisces. I feel like this is like your energy mainly. Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. Yeah, needing to like block out the noise. Um, Emperor. There could be a person that you're trying to detach from or a situation. Again, it's like it could be work that you're trying to detach from. But it's like if you're being overworked or you're not feeling valued or there's a romantic situation there's something that you're needing to put barriers or boundaries up here seven of wands protecting your energy she's literally got her hands over her ears because there's a bunch of junk or garbage that you keep taking in and so it's like needing to high priestess like detach remove yourself or just like isolate yourself a little bit more it feels like um I don't know, it's like things that people are saying. Maybe, I don't know, there could be like gossip. What's this, Seven of Pentacles? But it's, again, it's like the Nine of Swords and the High Priestess is giving me this energy, like you can't even think straight. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Strength. Yeah, like putting energy back into self. Page of Cups to me is like always like a card of not always, but like when I'm reading a, a reading like this, it's it's about reflecting inward. It's also a, a Piscean energy. So definitely reflecting back into self, looking at inner child work, that sort of thing, your inner emotions. Okay, so it's like pouring into your own cup, doing things that make you feel good. And strength is also a card of like going within. Why is this death card here? Two of Swords. I also feel like, too, for some of you, by, like, not engaging with people or this situation or whatever this is, it's, like, by not engaging, it's actually going to have someone reach out to you. Like, they're actually going to start putting the effort towards you instead of you having to always be there for them, okay? Like, they're going to all of a sudden be like, where's, where's Pisces? Where'd they go? Um... We have the death card, we have the two of swords, page of pentacles, moon, the star, the ace of pentacles flipped over on the ground. I feel like you're focused on something new, like learning something new, trying to, again, like not be bothered. Tower. You're trying to make changes in your life heal in some sort of way what's this knight of pentacles yeah the fool you're walking in a new new direction a new path i see you um doing something different yeah not like turning your back on whatever this was this this so some of you might fully remove yourself from whatever this is, whether it's work, relationships, people, in order to pursue a goal or a dream. And some of you are just starting something new. I feel like it'll be very successful for you. I feel like it's something that you're good at. You're just trying to, trying to be happy. So I feel like if you can find a way to kind of manage your own energy and detach yourself energetically and emotionally from whatever you're going through, that's going to help you find a sense of clarity and direction in your own personal life because you're actually going to be able to like intuitively tap into where, where you need to go, what you need to do next. So let's see what your advice is here. What's the advice for Pisces? Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. 
Wheel of Fortune. You guys have four of wands, the emperor. Some of you will have a commitment, a relationship, or like a furthering of a commitment. Okay, if you're already in a relationship, I see you getting like moving in together or getting engaged or like the next level, whatever that is for you. Okay, some of you, if you if you don't have any love and you're looking for love, like there definitely could be a person here coming in because we also have the Queen of Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. So there are changes that are happening, to, and I feel like it's about you finding a foundation and stability within yourself. Um, but it's like almost like once you can fill up your own cup, you can actually start to feel more stable in your environment. Some of you, your money is very much going to increase with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, but I feel like it's making the necessary changes in order for you to feel emotionally stable as well as materially stable or like having, feeling like you have a sense of a foundation, an anchor, a groundedness. Like you feel rooted, you feel secure. So this is like doing what needs to be done with the Wheel of Fortune, like doing what is right and what feels like it's in alignment with you to make the necessary changes. Um, I'm also getting a message of like, don't, feel like you've made the wrong choices or done the wrong things because I feel like this is exactly the way the wheel is supposed to turn. So it's like you haven't slowed anything down. So yeah, as long as you continue to look after yourself and your own emotional um, and energetic needs, then, and like block out the noise, I feel like the right changes are gonna happen in your life, just like naturally because you're gonna be pursuing what feels good to you and what feels in alignment with you. So I like this, this is good. I feel like it's like, yeah, just blocking out the energies that aren't, are like getting in your head and getting in your way. So that is what I have for you Pisces. Hopefully that resonates, let me know down below. If not, you can check out uh, any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, day, wonderful rest of April, and I will see you all in the next one, bye.